Hi children, are you all do doing good? Okay, so this is our third part. So in this third video, we are dealing or we are discussing about the various agricultural practices, isn't it? Have you learned or have you understood what we shared during the last two videos? Okay, so in those videos, we were dealing with the various agricultural practices that you need to follow when you are practicing or when you are cultivating some crops, isn't it? So we learned there are six agricultural practices or the six steps that you need to follow. What were they? Do you remember? Yes, firstly we need to prepare the soil. Then afterwards what we did? We need to sow the seeds. Afterwards, we need to add manure and fertilizers. Okay, then we need to provide water through irrigation. Irrigation. Okay, then, then we need to protect our crop from weeds. Afterwards, we, need, we can harvest and then store. Okay, so children, in the previous session, we were dealing with adding manure and fertilizers. Adding manure and fertilizers. This portion, you can see it in your text in page number 5. Okay, so in page number 5, you can see the various features of adding manure and fertilizers. So here you can see the, two, the experiment which we have done. Isn't it? Didn't we try to grow plants in fertilizers and manure and we observe the growth. So that experiment you can see it here. Okay, so we stopped our last class how by uh, what discussing about fertilizers and manure. So today we can continue our class with adding manure and fertilizers and also we can also discuss one more topic that is irrigation that is the fourth step okay so children come on to this topic do you remember what is manure and what are fertilizers manure okay so as the name indicates they are organic substances only they are organic substance they are from organic origin meaning what they are naturally obtained understood so they you understood that they are obtained by decomposition of plant and animal waste okay manure was obtained from the decomposition of plant and animal waste decomposition of plant and animal waste so therefore itself it was of a natural origin then we look what were fertilizers what were fertilizers do you remember they were chemical substances only they were chemical substance okay and these are rich in they are chemical substances only. They are rich only in a single or particular type of nutrients. So examples you saw. What were that? Urea, NPK. These were all examples. Potash. These were all examples of fertilizers. So these are chemicals and manuals are natural origin. So we understood that through the experiment we understood that when we add fertilizers the plant growth is maximum okay so we understood that fertilizers when are added to crops the plant growth will be maximum when compared to manure this also ensured the promotion of growth of plant but it was comparatively minimum okay then we decided to look which can be selected for what for adding to the soil in order to replenish the nutrients okay we need to add nutrients to the soil why in order to add nutrients to the soil in order to promote the plant growth understood so this manure and fertilizers in order to uh, look which is 
better we uh, we need to understand their differences okay children so we can look what are their differences if we add fertilizers to this uh, what paddy then wheat uh, such field and all the growth will be promoted but man or grow, plant growth will be minimum so that is because they are containing comparatively low nutrient content low nutrient when compared to when compared to fertilizers they are containing they are rich in nutrients like nitrogen like nitrogen phosphorus and potassium okay and also one more thing is that the as they are natural origin they will add humus to the soil do you know what is humus okay they will add humus to the soil humus when compared to this fertilizers they do not add much humus to the soil so humus content would be nil or minimum okay they will never not add humus content to the soil you know they are chemical substances only so where will this be synthesized they will be synthesized in factories only as they are inorganic salt they are inorganic salt okay inorganic salt so where they will be produced they are synthesized in man made factories only factories only these fertilizers are produced now if we look where are these manures produced they are produced in field also okay in field also they can be produced we so how these manures are produced in open field by these farmers so there are several such differences between this manure and fertilizers okay so you know fertilizers will definitely promote plant growth isn't it they will definitely uh, promote plant growth but there are also some disadvantages so if we excessively use okay that is beyond their uh, specified limit nammada dharana specified limit ne kaatilu dharanamayittu excessive aayittu fertilizers use cheyuvaanengil endaanu sambhavikkunnathu what will happen there will be instead of promoting uh, soil fertility soil fertility will be reduced soil fertility will be reduced instead of increasing soil fertility so in the nutrient content kootunadina kaatilum they will be decreasing the soil fertility eppadana when we excessively use these fertilizers into the soil and also there is one more namma tharaalamayittu fertilizers add cheyyumba endha sambhavikkunna ennu ariyavo when we add more fertilizers there are chances that they will cause water pollution so they can become a source of water pollution also source of water pollution okay so these are the disadvantages so they are the disadvantages if we excessively use fertilizers first of all soil fertility will reduce and they can become a source of water pollution also now coming on to manure if we add manure there are instead of disadvantages there are advantages okay what we can look what are its advantages advantages these are the advantages that we are going to discuss we said that they will add to humus content soil ile humus content kootunadayittu nammal parannu le so what can it result in water retaining capacity will increase so water retaining okay adayada soil il water retaining capacity ഒരു സോയിലിന് വാട്ടറിനെ ഹോൾഡ് ചെയ്യാനായിട്ടുള്ള ആ ഒരു കപ്പാസിറ്റി ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ദി വാട്ടർ റീറ്റെയിനിങ് 
capacity of the soil it increase agu why humus content avada add cheyunnadu alle so the water retaining capacity of the soil is increased and also the soil will become porous okay soil will become porous soil porous avumbodhek endha sambhavikkunne gas exchange alla easily nadakkum okay so as this manures are added the soil it will become porous okay so what will happen gas exchange will increase okay gas exchange means you know uh, plants require uh, what this gaseous exchange and also soil in the microorganism valaranu uh, that will result in so it will promote microorganisms that grow in soil as the soil the microorganism in the level kooduvaanengil it is always a benefit for this plant isn't it how soil in the microorganisms koodumbo what is the benefit decomposition processes ella adu accelerate cheyum alle so decomposition process accelerate cheyumbo they are getting more nutrients isn't it so by adding manure we will increase the water retaining capacity then it will result in the soil becoming more porous so gas exchange will increase and also it will promote the microbial growth in the soil okay microbial growth means it is always beneficial for this plant and also it will also improve soil texture soil texture okay so soil texture what do you mean by that is the composition of various components of the soil like sand silt clay and rock so when particular proportion they are present only this will promote the plant growth so e soil texture improve aakanayittu help cheyunnundu appo when we add manure okay so we learned that manures they are from organic origin or natural origin only they are obtained by decomposition of plant and animal matter even though the nutrient level in them is low when compared to this fertilizers they are having many advantages in promoting the soil texture the microbial growth the uh, soil will become more porous and water retaining capacity also will increase okay but if we add more these fertilizers what will happen the soil fertility will decrease instead of increasing understood and it can also become a source of water pollution how excess fertilizers they will leach out into the ground water namku ariya bhoomiyude adile vellam undu alle angodeke leach out cheyya appo endha sambhavikkunna they will become polluted and also this can excess fertilizers can move through the along with the run off water along with the run off water rain water alla ലാസ്റ്റ് റീ റിവറിലാണ് എത്തിച്ചേരുക അല്ലേ അപ്പൊ ഈ റിവറിൽ ഈ ഫെർട്ടിലൈസേഴ്സ് ധാരാളമായി എത്തുന്നത് അവിടെ പൊല്യൂഷൻ ഉണ്ടാക്കാൻ റീസൺ ആവും ഓക്കെ സോ ഇറ്റ് ക്യാൻ റിസൾട്ട് ഇൻ ദി പൊല്യൂഷൻ ഓഫ് വാട്ടർ സോഴ്സസ് അണ്ടർസ്റ്റുഡ് സോ നൗ യു ഡിസൈഡ് വിച്ച് വൺ വിൽ യു പ്രിഫർ വിത്ത് വെദർ ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ബി എ ഫെർട്ടിലൈസേഴ്സ് ഓർ വെദർ ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ബി എ മാനർ always this farmers prefer manure okay so fertilizers are also added understood they are, we are not telling it is bad but they are also added but manure is more preferred understood now what we learned was coming under the topic manure and fertilizers now we can move look into the next topic that is irrigation the irrigation what do you mean by irrigation that is the uh, so children we, we were talking about the fourth agricultural practice that is irrigation so let before uh, beginning this uh, discussing about this topic let me show you a plant okay so you can see that this plant is appearing wilted or they, they are appearing drooped alle vaadi nikku alle chedi okay so what might be the reason for this uh, drooping or a wilted plant what might be the reason ah yes it has not got water 
അല്ലെ സോ ആസ് പ്ലാന്റ്സ് റിക്വയർ വാട്ടർ ഫോർ പ്ലാന്റ്സ് റിക്വയർ വാട്ടർ ഫോർ ദർ പ്രോപ്പർ ഹെൽത്ത് ആൻഡ് ഗ്രോത്ത് സോ യു നോ എവറി പ്ലാന്റ് ഇറ്റ് റിക്വയർസ് അബൌട്ട് ഇറ്റ് കണ്ടെയ്സ് അബൌട്ട് നയൻറ്റി പെർസെൻറ്റേജ് വാട്ടർ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് വെരി ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് ഫോർ എവറി ഓർഗാനിസം ഇസ് ഇൻ ഇറ്റ് സോ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് റിക്വയർ ഫോർ പ്രോപ്പർ ഹെൽത്ത് ആൻഡ് ഗ്രോത്ത് ഓഫ് പ്ലാന്റ് ഹെൽത്ത് ആൻഡ് ഗ്രോത്ത് ഓഫ് പ്ലാന്റ് ഓക്കെ സോ വാട്ടർ ഇസ് വെരി എസെൻഷ്യൽ ഫോർ ദീസ് പ്ലാന്റ്സ് സോ വാട്ട് ഹാപ്പൻസ് വെൻ വി ആഡ് വാട്ടർ ടു ദി പ്ലാന്റ്സ് വാട്ട് ഹാപ്പൻസ് ഡു യു നോ ദി വാട്ടർ വിൽ ബി അബ്സോർബ്ഡ് ബൈ ദിസ് റൂട്ട്സ് ആൻഡ് ദിസ് വിൽ ട്രാവൽ ലോങ് അലോങ് ദി സ്റ്റെം ആൻഡ് ടു ദി ലീവ് അണ്ടർസ്റ്റുഡ് സോ വാട്ടർ വിൽ ബി അബ്സോർബ് ബൈ ദി പ്ലാന്റ് ഇസ് ഇറ്റ് ഓൺലി വാട്ടർ no nutrients the fertilizers or the manure we add everything is absorbed along with the water into the plant okay it will reach the leaves stems of every plant understood so what should we do to promote the health and growth of a plant we need to add water regularly isn't it so it is through the process of irrigation so it is very important process irrigation is done or it is a process by which we add water to the plants at regular intervals when we add water to the plants at regular interval okay regular intervals means what at particular after every particular time we need to add water to the plants then only the plant can grow healthy understood now this frequency or the number of times that you add water to the plants it will also vary according to seasons okay in summer in this is a rainy season isn't it so in rainy season do we need to frequently water the plants no it will be less only okay in the case of summer season that the temperature of the environment will be high isn't it so we should add more water frequently water adayidu or summer season or choodu kaalam aagumbol water nammal koodu frequent aayittu ulikkendadund why soil ninnum adu pole leaf il ninnum chedigal il ninnum ella water pettan evaporate cheythu povu okay so we need to add more water during summer season and when compared to a rainy season understood so the frequency of watering it will vary from season to season and from crop to crop and that is some crops they will be requiring more water some will be requiring less water only so it will also vary from crop to crop okay so all these are the my uh, the basic things of irrigation that you need to know now how these uh, what are the sources from which we can obtain water what are the various sources source and also this source they should be uh, more near to this agricultural field isn't it so such sources will include well tube well then ponds canals rivers okay dams all these are various sources of this irrigation it include well tube well pond canal river dam etc and we when we add also one more thing is there when we add water this can also protect the plant when we add water this can also protect the plant from extreme weather conditions അതായത് വെതർ കണ്ടീഷൻസ് എക്സ്ട്രീംസ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഫ്രോസ്റ്റ് അതുപോലെ ഹോട്ട് എയർ കറൻസ് ഹോട്ട് എയർ കറൻസ് ഇതുപോലെയുള്ള എക്സ്ട്രീം വെതർ കണ്ടീഷൻസിൽ നിന്നല്ല ഈ പ്ലാന്റിനെ പ്രൊട്ടക്ട് ചെയ്യാനായിട്ട് വാട്ടർ വിൽ ഹെൽപ്പ് ടു എ ലിമിറ്റ് ടു എൻ എക്സ്ട്രീം എക്സ്റ്റെൻഡ് okay so that's why itself irrigation is very important in the case of cultivation of a crop now students uh, these from these sources we will get water but how can we take this water into the field how can we reach 
how can we uh, transport this water from this source into the field for that we will adopt the methods of irrigation there are many two methods of irrigation that is traditional methods of irrigation and modern methods of irrigation so children this traditional methods of irrigation you can see the images in the page number 8 in page number 8 you can see you can see there are mainly four methods of irrigation okay so you please take the page number 8 of your textbook and observe this images when i am describing okay so so students we are going to discuss the traditional methods of irrigation and you may also refer these are the diagrams provided in the textbook you may please refer to it when i am describing so children first method is mot in mot it is also known as pulley system okay pulley system p u l l e y so this pulley system means what a pulley is being used in this method so in what system the water source we, we use is a well oru kinar aayikka avade upayogikkunnathu oru pulliyum avade use cheyunnathu so as uh, most of you might have seen especially at least in films and all this pulley and water being taken from the well using this pulley isn't it so a rope or a chain is attached to it and at the other end you can see a bucket so especially in traditional methods we what uh, we use human labor or cattle okay traditional methods it are pratheegada ennu parayunnathu nammal avade cattle allengil adayathu naalkaligal okay so cattle or human labor ne aayikkum nammal avade employ cheyuga in this case of motor pulley system we will use human labor okay when uh, this using this rope we will pull out the bucket which is dipped in the well okay after pulling we will obtain water in this which is collected from the well this water can be used to uh, what cultivate the soil now in this pulley system there is one disadvantage that is we are using human labor only even though it is inexpensive it will be cheaper isn't it but these are uh, this will result in unequal distribution of water every plants will not get their required amount of water isn't it so this pulley system or mot system they are having several disadvantages even though they are cheaper the it will result in unequal distribution of water only okay so that is what happen uh, in a mot or pulley system where we use a pulley and a rope which is attached with a bucket and you can dip this bucket in this well and take the water okay and then distribute it to the field human labor is used the second method is chain pump in this method of chain pump as the name indicates a chain is being used this is a chain you can see a chain in the textbook isn't it so there is also a wheel here this is a wheel in this wheel one bucket is attached to this wheel okay one bucket is attached to this wheel and as this chain is pulled as this chain is pulled this wheel will be starting to rotate this wheel will start to rotate ee chain valikunnathu anusarichu wheel rotate cheyyu as this wheel rotate endu sambhavikkum bucketum adu pole thanne rotate cheyyu ee bucket rotate cheyidu എന്താ സംഭവിക്കുന്നത് ഇവിടെയുള്ള വാട്ടർ കളക്ട് ചെയ്തിട്ട് ഇവിടെ താഴെ ഒരു വാട്ടർ സോഴ്സ് ഉണ്ടാകും ദർ വിൽ ബി എ വാട്ടർ സോഴ്സ് ഇറ്റ് ക്യാൻ ബി എ ലേക്ക് ഒരു ലേക്ക് ആയിരിക്കാം അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഒരു പോണ്ട് ആയിരിക്കാം ഓക്കെ സോ ആസ് ദിസ് വീൽ റൊട്ടേഷ് ഈ ബക്കറ്റ് വിൽ കളക്ട് ദി വാട്ടർ ഫ്രം ദി വാട്ടർ സോഴ്സ് ഈ ബക്കറ്റിൽ വാട്ടർ സോഴ്സിൽ നിന്നും വാട്ടർ കളക്ട് ചെയ്യുകയും അത് പിന്നീട് ഗ്രൗണ്ടിലേക്ക് എത്തുകയും ചെയ്യും നമുക്ക് ഒരു അപ്പർ സർഫസ് അത് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഒരു ഗ്രൗണ്ടിലേക്ക് എത്തുകയും ഫ്രം ദർ വി ക്യാൻ ട്രാൻസ്ഫർ ദിസ് വാട്ടർ ഇൻ ടു എ മാൻ മെയ്ഡ് കനാൽ ഒരു മാൻ മെയ്ഡ് മനുഷ്യ നിർമ്മിതമായ ഒരു കനാലിലൂടെ കനാൽ ഓക്കെ ഈ കനാലിലൂടെ ഈ വാട്ടർ നമുക്ക് 
agricultural field like it can sadhik you okay so this is the chain pump system there you can you can see a wheel you need to know only this name so i am just describing for your understanding purpose okay or wheel and it will be connected by a chain and this wheel is connected with a bucket also as this wheel is rotating it will collect collect the water from the uh, water source and this water can be used to transfer into a man made canal or man made canal like the water ne transfer cheyigeyum aa water pinnidu namku agricultural field like direct cheyigeyum cheyam okay so that is what we are discussing in chain pump come on to the third that is dekli you please observe the image in your textbook okay in dekli system you can see oru v shaped log undu oru v shaped aayittulla oru marathadi undagum okay that will be near m well ivide oru well aanu ningalku kaanan sadhikkunathu ee oru wellin aduthayittu oru v shaped log um and there will be also a long rod that will be resting on this v shaped log ee v shaped log il oru long rod kude attach cheyittundagum okay so as we pull, push down and push up this will move down and also upward so this can be operated from here as we push down and up namke idu taalthiye pokkuyum cheya you can see a bucket here so from this well this bucket will collect water and as this water is raised namke endeya ee water oru cheriya water കനാൽ പോലെ നമ്മൾ ഡിഗ് ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ടാകും ഇത് ഡിഗ് ചെയ്ത് ജസ്റ്റ് സോയിൽ ഡിഗ് ചെയ്തിട്ട് ദാറ്റ് കനാൽ വിൽ ബി ലീഡിങ് ടു ദി അഗ്രികൾച്ചറൽ ഫീൽഡ് ഓക്കെ യു ക്യാൻ സി എ മാൻ ഹു ഇസ് പോറിങ് വാട്ടർ ഇസ് ഇറ്റ് യു ക്യാൻ സി ഇറ്റ് ഇൻ ദ ടെക്സ്റ്റ് ബുക്ക് ടെക്സ്റ്റ് ബുക്കിൽ ഒരു മാൻ ഈ വാട്ടർ പോർ ചെയ്യുന്നതായിട്ട് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് കാണാം അല്ലേ അപ്പൊ ഈ വാട്ടർ ഓട്ടോമാറ്റിക്കലി ദേ വിൽ ഫ്ലോ ഡൗൺ ഇൻ ടു ദി അഗ്രികൾച്ചറൽ ഫീൽഡ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ദ സിസ്റ്റം ഓഫ് ദേക്ലി ഇൻ ദേക്ലി സിസ്റ്റം യു ക്യാൻ ഓപ്പറേറ്റ് ദിസ് ലോങ് റോഡ് ജസ്റ്റ് ബൈ പുഷിംഗ് അപ്പ് ആൻഡ് ഡൗൺവേർഡ്സ് ആൻഡ് ദിസ് പക്കറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് വിൽ കളക്ട് വാട്ടർ ഫ്രം ദി വെൽ ആൻഡ് യു ക്യാൻ ജസ്റ്റ് പോർ ദി വാട്ടർ ഓൺ ടു ദാറ്റ് കനാൻ വിച്ച് യു ഹാവ് ഡിഗ് ഇൻ ടു ദി അഗ്രികൾച്ചറൽ ലാൻഡ് പക്ഷെ എന്താ അവിടെ ഡിസ്അഡ്വാൻറ്റേജ് വരിക ദർ വിൽ ബി ഡിസ് ഡിസ്അഡ്വാൻറ്റേജ് വൈ ബിക്കോസ് ദിസ് ക്യാൻ ലീഡ് ടു വേസ്റ്റേജ് ഓഫ് വാട്ടർ ലോട്ട് ഓഫ് വേസ്റ്റേജ് ഓഫ് വാട്ടർ വിൽ ബി ഇറ്റ്സ് റിസൾട്ട് നൗ കമ്മിങ് ഓൺ ടു ദ രാഹത് സിസ്റ്റം രാഹത് സിസ്റ്റം യു ക്യാൻ സേ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ഓൾസോ എ പുള്ളി സിസ്റ്റം സോ ഐ ആർ ഇപ്പോൾ സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് യു ജസ്റ്റ് ലുക്ക് ഇൻ ഒബ്സേർവ് ദി ഇമേജ് ഗിവൺ ഇൻ ദ ടെക്സ്റ്റ് ബുക്ക് ഇൻ ദ ടെക്സ്റ്റ് ബുക്ക് യു ക്യാൻ സി എ ക്യാറ്റൽ ഓക്കെ ഒരു ക്യാറ്റൽ ഒരു മൃഗത്തെ കാണാം അല്ലേ സോ ഇൻ ദ ക്യാറ്റൽ ഒരു ഹോറിസോണ്ടൽ ഗ്രൗണ്ടിന് പാരലൽ ആയിട്ട് ഒരു റോഡ് ക്യാറ്റലിൻ്റെ നെക്കിലൂടെ പാസ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് അല്ലേ സോ ദിസ് വിൽ റിസൾട്ട് ഇൻ ദി സർക്കുലർ മോഷൻ ഓഫ് ദിസ് ക്യാറ്റൽ അപ്പോൾ യു ഇമാജിൻ ദിസ് ഇസ് ദി റോഡ് ആൻഡ് ദിസ് ഇസ് ദി ക്യാറ്റൽ ഈ ക്യാറ്റൽ ഇങ്ങനെ സർക്കുലർ മോഷനിലായിരിക്കും കറങ്ങുക അല്ലേ ബിക്കോസ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് അറ്റാച്ച് ടു ദിസ് റോഡ് അല്ലേ ദ ക്യാറ്റൽ ക്യാൻ ബി only move in circular motion sometimes human labor is also employed okay so ivide endanu vachara this is also called lever system rahat system is also called sorry rahat system is also called lever system appo as this uh, cattle is moving the cattle ingane neengunnad anusarichu ivide oru wheel kude connected aayittundavu so this will result in the movement of the wheel okay so you can see that a wheel is attached nearby this cattle okay appo ee cattle ne ningunnad anusarichu aduthulla ee wheel karanu okay you can see numerous buckets attached to it alle ivide kore bucket ille ee buck appo ee cattle ne ningayu ee buck wheel karanugayum cheyyu okay and what will happen ee wheel will be half immersed in a water body ഒരു വാട്ടർ ബോഡി സേ ഇറ്റ് ക്യാൻ ബി എ ലേക്ക് ഓർ എ പോൺ ഈ ലേക്കിലായിട്ട് ഹാഫ് ഇമ്മേഴ്സ് ആയിരിക്കും ആൻഡ് ആസ് ദിസ് വീൽ ഇസ് റൊട്ടേറ്റിംഗ് ഇവിടെ സംഭവിക്കുന്നത് പോലെ തന്നെ ഈ ബക്കറ്റ്സ് എല്ലാം എന്ത് ചെയ്യും വാട്ടർ കളക്ട് ചെയ്യുകയും അത് പിന്നീട് വി ക്യാൻ 
transfer it on to the ground. Okay, so we can transfer it on to the ground. Now, so, here, this cattle in the movement, this wheel in the rotation is connected. On. As this cattle moves, only this wheel will rotate. Now, so, this so, water body is in the water bucket. It is collected in the ground. So, these are the four types of traditional method. You only need to know its name. I just described it. Understood? So, in traditional method, we have human labor. We have to employ cattle. Even though it is inexpensive, it is inefficient. Because water loss is there. All the uneven distribution is not water So there are uh, several disadvantages Now we can see into the what modern methods of Modern methods of Irrigation Okay so the second method is modern method of irrigation Modern method is not involved as these are modern, if uh, these method in the they can result in economic use of water. Water is economically used, especially in areas where water availability is less. Water availability less side of areas employ the best methods are modern methods. And the other method is in the The first one is Sprinkler method. Okay, sprinkler. So sprinkler, spl sprinkler system. You can see it in the textbook. Okay, so in the textbook you can see its image. Okay, in this image that is in the page number nine. Page number nine you can see the sprinkler method here. Okay, this is the sprinkler method. Okay, and you can also see a drip system also. Drip system is the second type of modern method. This is the second type of modern method of irrigation. So you can observe the image when I am describing. So the sprinkler system as well as drip system. Okay. These two systems are the types of modern methods of irrigation. Sprinkler in the another. You can see pipes that are standing perpendicular to the ground. Okay. These pipes would be standing perpendicular. And either you can see it standing perpendicular to the ground. You might have seen, especially in lawn sand or patcha puller visitor garden area, you might have seen lawn, lawn. Out of the in a maravay in the bowl, water supply in the you might have seen. So that is what we call sprinkler system. You can see a perpendicular pipe which is perpendicular to the ground and there will be a nozzle at the top. This nozzle will be rotating. Nozzle will be rotating. And these pipes will be attached to a main pipe. In the lamar main pipe will be attached directly. And in this image provided in the text, you can see either a well well lake carrium and again with a water source lake carrium connected to the tendava. Up in the Samboikia, when you pump out water, this water will move. When you pump out water, the water will move falsely. Now the pressure in the water, the main pipe load. E pipes like it to Okay, as this water reaches this nozzle, what will happen? The water will escape through the nozzle. As this nozzle is rotating, this nozzle is rotating. Nozzle is rotating. So what will happen? This water will be spread like rain is falling. Like a rainfall, you can observe. This is especially useful in uh, what lawns. Then uh, coffee plantation. Coffee plantation alla we use sprinkler system. Come on to the drip irrigation. Drip irrigation for another where what especially in this sprinkler system, uneven land aitola, and either irregular aitola surface or the land abhi sprinkler system, it will be very useful. Understood. When coming on to the drip irrigation, uh, this is every day. Fruit plantations, other fruit trees, other um, 
അതുപോലത്തെ പ്ലാന്റേഷൻസിലെല്ലാം യു ക്യാൻ സി ദി അഡോപ്ഷൻ ഓഫ് ഡ്രിപ്പ് സിസ്റ്റം ഓഫ് ഇറിഗേഷൻ ഓക്കെ യു ക്യാൻ സി പ്ലാന്റ്സ് ഓർ ഫ്രൂട്ട് ട്രീസ് ഓക്കെ സോ ത്രൂ നാരോ പൈപ്പ്സ് ഒരു ചെറിയ പൈപ്പിലൂടെ ദീസ് ആർ ദി നാരോ പൈപ്പ്സ് യു വിൽ ബി പ്രൊവൈഡിങ് an extension of this pipe near to the root of this tree adhaye the tree de root inde allenge stem inde aduthek aayittu nammal ground il oru pipe inde extension kodukkeyana so continuously water will fall onto its uh, what ground in the form of drops drops aayittu water will be dripping from this pipe or water will fall as drops continuously on to near the roots of these plant understood so that is what happening in drip irrigation this is a very useful or um, very useful uh, system of irrigation so in this system this is especially as we have said especially finds usage when in areas water availability is very minimum water namke valare economically use cheyan pattunna oru system aanu drip system water drips aayittu ee plant inde root inde aduthekayittu we are providing it so these are the modern methods of irrigation now so students till now we have discussed what are the uh, two methods two agricultural practices that we are performing that is adding manures and fertilizers then also irrigation when we add uh, okay when we add uh, manures and fertilizers we need to take care of its quantity we are adding isn't it fertilizers should be used in its particular limit only manure as they are natural origin they are very useful for the soil okay we saw several advantages it will make soil porous the so texture will improve then it will enable the growth of microorganisms in the soil so this is always beneficial for the soil if we are adding manure but the nutrient level is very low when compared to a fertilizer okay namm endirani soil la fertilizers and manures add cheyunnathu when the soil soil and the nutrient level deplete cheyumbol we will be adding then only we can uh, healthily grow our crops okay so after that we also look the uh, differences between these fertilizers and manures okay then we look into the topic irrigation irrigation and the irrigation is varunathu the providing water to the crops at particular time intervals appi time interval nu arayunathu they can vary from crop to crop season to season angane ella vary cheyum engilum idile valare athyavashyamulla oru ghadagam aanu factor aanu plant growth ine affect cheyna oru factor aanu endu parayunathu irrigation and end of our another so we need to frequently uh, provide water sources are the kind of kind of like what are the sources ah well then tube tube well then pond lake dam canal the can rivers are can now we also so the modern methods of irrigation and traditional methods of irrigation often these modern methods are most beneficial okay so children here we are performing all these activities by because to promote ensure the ensure the promotion of effective growth of this plant idella perform cheyidengil mathramana namukku oru plant effectively grow cheyanam namukku maximum harvest adinnum kittanam helpful aanu okay so children in the next class we will be discussing about the next agricultural practices so keep waiting for them okay thank you